In this video tutorial, I'm going to show. In this video tutorial, we're going to open up Power Director, and I'm going to give you a moment where you go, "Oh, I didn't know you could do that." I'm Harvey Roberts. This is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki, and today I'm going to show you something that you may not have known. Now, if you're new to my channel and you like these video tutorials, please consider subscribing. Give us a like, ring the bell to be notified every time I upload new content. So we're going to open up Power Director. We're going to mess around with some stuff in there and do something that you may not have known. Now, after watching the video and you say to yourself, I didn't know that, write down in the comments below, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's enough of me banging on. Let's open up Power Director. Let's have a moment. So here we are, Power Director, blank blank canvas. I'm going to go to our text title room. I'm going to just take the default, drag it down onto track one. Like so let's just spread this out so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, double click this open in title designer and I'm going to change the font out to something a little bit more fatter. Oh, let's look at this. So let's have that. That looks cool. Let's just spread it out a little bit more so it's nice and big. Click OK. And let's just center this so we get a nice that is and we can make this now a little bit bigger that is cool so we've got our title and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our video overlay which is here and I've downloaded a couple and what we're going to use is oh look at this one that one's nice I was going to use this one but in fact you know we'll use this one I'm going to drag, drag this down onto track two and uh, let's no not that one let's spread this out so it's the same length and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover the my on my title so what i'm going to do is drag it here like that and then just change it out just bring it closer and then just squash it in a little bit and i want it to just cover the my it doesn't need to be so like so perfect so it's covered the, the my, you can't see the my. So what we need to do is right click, make sure this is selected, right click on and go to set blending mode. It's the fourth one from the bottom here. And we're gonna to go to darken. So you see now it covers it. Now you can just move your mouse up and down. Don't click on anything, move your mouse up and down on these and you can see what it does, how it reacts to it, like so. So multiply or darken, either one works. I'm gonna stick with darken. Uh, and that's it basically you get that effect so let's just play it and there you see but here's the moment right this is the thing we're going to do we're going to go to our transition room see we've got fade we've got all these and did you know this is the moment you can actually drop transitions down onto your video overlay like so I'm going to drop this one here at the beginning and one at the end and what's going to happen is it's going to blend in, it's going to fade in from the beginning and then it's going to show her this and then it's going to fade out like so. Now you can see you've got this black there as it fades out, right? So what we need to do is we need to edit those. Let's just move this back along so I can see them. So double click here on our transition that we've just done. It's got a maximum blur of 200. I'm going to drop this down to 100. 200 is way too much. 99 is good. I want to leave the background color to, to black. I'm going to apply to all. And then I'm going to change this one, but I'm going to change this one's color, background color to white. Like so. Because what happens is, when it fades out, you get that quick black kind of flicker and it doesn't look nice. This gives it a more professional blend out, which is, is what we're looking for. So make sure we deselected it. Uh, just run it and you'll see it blends in like so. And then you get this lovely blend out. You know what? I think we could change that background as well on the on the blend out. You see how that blended out nicely. The the first one, the background blend was horrible. I don't like that. Let's try this again. And you get this wonderful blend in. There you go. How cool is that? 
Now the thing is, you can't have another video here. I'm going to drag these down. You can't have a video here on track one because it doesn't look good because we're using a blending mode on this video overlay. So let's bring in our a media file and <laughs> let's use this one again. I've been using this one for how long? This is my third video with this crazy clip. Let's drop this down onto track one. Let's move the playhead along to the ending here. Cut it, get rid of that. Don't want that bit. I'm gonna unlink the video audio and get rid of the audio because I don't like the I don't like the audio. Make sure that's selected. Right click and just remove that. So there's no audio on this because it's really annoying. And um, what happens is if I play this now, you'll see on the my text it it's, it looks pretty nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what we're after. Unless, of course, that is what you're after, but it's very unprofessional and you don't want that. So what we need to do is we need to produce this. So let's just remove this. I don't want that. Let's remove this and um, we'll just produce it. Or oh, before I actually produce this, I need to go to my preferences because I don't have this set up. So on export and on the last one, it says file, import it. So if you make sure this is selected, what happens is once you've once you've produced your video, it brings it back here. So you can just come back here and carry on editing. So let's export this. I'm going to change its name. I'm going to change it to test. And I'm just going to click start. It'll only take a couple of seconds. There we go. Done. Now if you click on this arrow here, we can go back to edit. And you can see now it's brought it back into my title room so now we can select both of these with our left mouse button click delete on our keyboard gone we'll bring this back onto track two we'll bring this track one and we'll do the cutting and editing again Just clip it remove it unlink it and remove the sound and there we go and what happens is when you play this not yet because we have to remove the black because if you play it now like you see you can't see anything so make sure this is selected double click with your left mouse button to go to pip designer like so and we're going to use the chroma key so make sure chroma key is selected use the eyedropper and just click on black boom done let's go back to ok and there you go and now when we play it now it's nice very professional and you get this beautiful blend out smoothly look at that and that is our moment <laughs> so there you have it i keep finding new stuff to share with everyone that's my rant for today have a great day stay safe people